She's M-A-M-I-E. Yes, she reads to me. She reads a story from a book or two. She's M-A-M-I-E. Mammy's Corner. Hello, my littles. Welcome to Mammy's Corner, and I'm Mammy. But you already knew that, didn't you? Yes, you did. It is time to do our affirmations. Are you ready? All right, let's start right here. I am loved. Are you loved? You are. Well, let's say it loud. Ready? I am loved. Yes, you are loved. Who loves you? God loves you. That's right. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. And don't you go forgetting it. Now the next one. I am good. Are you good? If you are, you better say this really loud. Ready? I am good. Good job, my littles. Now for the last one. I am kind. If you're kind, that's right. You've got to say it loud. Ready? I am kind. Good job, my littles. Now, Mammy has a special book for my fairy princess. It is called The Pirate Fairy. Ah, I can't wait to read it for my fairy princess. But before we do, make sure you're in your favorite chair. Get all nice and comfy. Maybe get a blanket or a favorite pillow or a favorite stuffy or even cuddle with mommy or daddy or maybe your favorite grandma or mammy. Are you ready? Did I forget something? I did forget something. Oh my goodness, thank you for reminding me. Down below, next to the subscribe button, there's a thumbs up. Take that remote, arrow down, and click that thumbs up and let Mammy know that you like my stories because it makes me feel good that you like my stories. And if you want a special story read just for you, make sure you have your adult email me at mammyscorner at gmail.com and I will find it if I can. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, are you comfy? Let's get going. This is called the Pirate Fairy. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, first we're going to learn some fairy facts. Number one. Fairies have special talents that help them to do the jobs that they love. Tinker Bell is a tinker talent fairy, which means she loves to fix and build things. The pixie dust tree makes pixie dust for all of the fairies in the pixie hollow. Fairies sprinkle golden pixie dust on their wings in order to fly. And the last one says, to most humans, the language of fairies sounds like Bells jingling! Oh, how fun! One beautiful morning, as most of the fairies were happily flying to work, a fairy named Zarina was walking instead. Hey, Zarina, out of pixie dust again? asked Rosetta, a garden talent fairy. Rosetta thought it was strange that Zarina, a dust-keeping fairy, was always walking. After all, Zarina worked with the pixie dust that all the fairies needed to fly. Why do you think she's walking? Let's find out. Zarina worked at the dust depot, packaging the gold pixie dust that flowed in a stream from the pixie dust tree. While all dust keepers loved pixie dust, Zarina was extra curious about it. Whoa. Do you ever get curious about things? <gasps> Mammy does too. Oh my goodness. Let's find out what she's curious about. Today it was Zarina's turn to help Fairy Gary with the special blue pixie dust. The blue dust helped the pixie dust tree make the gold pixie dust. Whoa, gold. Wow. Zarina watched as specks of blue dust made the gold dust multiply. The stream of dust coming from the tree flowed faster and stronger. From a trickle to a roar, Fairy Gary explained. If there's blue dust, why can't there be other colors? What if there's pink? Did you know that that's my fairy princess's favorite color right now is pink? Oh my goodness. I bet she's going to be excited. What if we make it? Zarina asked Gary eagerly. We do not tamper with pixie dust, Gary reminded her. He didn't know that Zarina had been walking everywhere so that she could save her own pixie dust for her experiments. That night, 
Zarina found a speck of, pix of blue pixie dust when she got home. <gasps> what do you think she's going to do? Well, let's find out. And we found out why she was walking. So that way she could save her own pixie dust. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Let's find out what she does. For a long time, Zarina had been making, mixing gold dust with other things to try to make different colors. She decided to add a bit of blue pixie dust to a mixture and it made orange dust with tinge pixie dust. She had light fairy talents. <gasps> different colors of dust gave her different talents. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Excited, Zarina showed Tinkerbell her discovery, but Tinkerbell was worried. I really think you should stop, Tink told her friend. What? Do you think she should stop? Oh my goodness, I don't know. <gasps> Let's find out what happens. Surprised by Tinkerbell's reaction, Zarina accidentally spilled some of the pink Dixie dust, pixie dust that she had made on a plant. The plant grew out of control and destroyed the dust depot. <gasps> oh no. When Gary found out about Zarina's experiment, he told Zarina that she could no longer work with pixie dust. Oh no. Zarina was heartbroken. She loved working with pixie dust but no one in Pixie Hollow seemed to understand her. So Zarina decided to pack up her things and fly away. Oh, I'm sad for, for Zarina, aren't you? A year passed. It was time for the Four Seasons Festival. Tinkerbell and her friends were working on a music box for the finale. <gasps> a music box, oh, how beautiful. Tinkerbell's sister, Periwinkle, was performing with the winter fairies. Suddenly, Tink noticed poppies growing around the stadium. Then she spotted Zarina. Rosetta knew that the flower's pollen would make everyone fall asleep. Hide, she shouted. Tink and her friends scrambled to the music box to protect themselves. <gasps> what? Whoa. Can you imagine poppies making you fall asleep? Oh my goodness, good thing they could hide, huh? When the friends emerged, they found everyone was asleep. They quickly realized that Zarina had stolen the only supply of blue pixie dust. Without it, the pixie dust tree couldn't make the gold dust and the fairies wouldn't be able to fly. The friends followed the glow from the blue dust, knowing it would lead them to Zarina. <gasps> oh no, what's going to happen? To their surprise... The trail led them to a pirate ship. <gasps> I'm scared now. Aren't you a pirate ship? Oh my goodness. Zarina, what are you doing with a pirate ship? The fairies peeked through a hole. They were stunned to learn that Zarina was the pirate's captain. <gasps> what? She was the captain? Oh my. <gasps> What's going to happen, my littles? Using their talents. The friends snatched the blue pixie dust back and headed for shore. But their former friend chased after them. The pirate fairy hurled some colorful pixie dust toward them, knocking them backward. Zarina snatched the, pixie, the blue pixie dust and flew away. <gasps> Does that mean she's not nice anymore? Oh my goodness, I'm scared for her. <gasps> The colored pixie dust had changed all of their talents. It wasn't easy to adjust to the new talents. Tinkerbell was now a water talent fairy, but she couldn't control the water. Rosetta found that she was now an animal talent fairy, and a newly hatched crocodile thought she was his mother. <gasps> oh, no! Finally, the fairy fans gained control of their talents and sneaked aboard the pirate ship. The ship was sailing toward Skull Rock. Whoa, look at that skull. Inside the cave, the friends were amazed to discover that Zarina had grown a second pixie dust tree. She was going to use the blue pixie dust to make a huge supply of gold pixie dust. The fairies learned the pirates planned to sprinkle the ship with it 
and fly to the mainland to rob the world of its greatest treasures. <gasps> no! What is Zarina doing? Oh my goodness. Oh, Mammy is scared. Oh, I don't know if I want to read anymore. Oh, okay, here we go. The fairy sneaked aboard into the captain's cabin. James, the cabin boy, was there with Zarina. James was the only one who could understand Zarina and would explain her orders to the other pirates. Hard to believe the other fairies didn't appreciate your talent, he murmured. Zarina jiggled, jingled. She liked James. Tink and her friends tried to stop Zarina, but the pirates captured them instead. Tinkerbell pleaded with Zarina, You don't belong here, Tink insisted. This is exactly where I belong, Zarina replied. She thought James and the pirates were her true friends. Do you think they're her true friends? Oh no, let's find out. Zarina used the blue pixie dust to make gold pixie dust flow from the second pixie dust tree. But once James was sure that they had enough gold dust to make the ship fly, he trapped Zarina in a lantern. Zarina realized the pirates had never been her friends. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my littles, what's going to happen? Oh my goodness. We don't need you anymore, James sneered at Zarina. He had been the real captain all along. <gasps> oh my goodness, look. Oh, I'm so scared for Rosina and her friends now. Oh no. Meanwhile, the baby croc had been looking for Rosetta. When he found her, he helped the fairies escape. Yay, good job, croc. The fairies quickly retrieved the vial of blue pixie dust from the tree. But before they could leave, a voice boomed. Return the dust or your friend is done for! James was threatening to drop the lantern with, Zer with Zarina in it into the sea. Now the fairies wanted to see Zarina hurt, so Tink gave him the blue pixie dust. Oh no! Oh, I'm so scared. The pirates covered their ship with gold dust and flew away, taking the blue pixie dust with them. Oh, wow. As they left, James tossed Serena into the sea anyway. The fairies quickly rescued her. Whew, she's safe. You saved me, Zarina said, understanding who her true friends really were. The pirate fairy was sorry for what she had done and wanted to make it right. Oh, that's a good girl. Whew. She's safe. Yay. Together, the fairies flew to the ship to battle the pirates. Look at them. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at them go. You see them fighting? Oh my goodness. But their tiny swords were no match for the pirates. Suddenly, the fairies realized that they could the fairies realized that they could defeat the pirates using their newfound talents instead. The pirates were soon tossed overboard. Yay! Meanwhile, Zarina squared off against James to get back the blue dust. During their struggle, he dropped one speck. Zarina quickly threw it back at him. From a trickle to a roar, she called. The gold dust on top of James multiplied. And an out-of-control James blasted away. He dropped the blue dust and landed in the water where the croc chased the pirate away. Yay! The fairies flew the pirate ship back to Pixie Hollow. Zarina woke up the sleeping fairies and returned the blue pixie dust to the queen. Then Zarina restored all of her friends back to their original talents with a colorful twirl of pixie dust. Everyone was impressed with, with Zarina's new talent, including Fairy Gary. Zarina was back in Pixie Hollow where she and her unique talent truly belonged. Oh, yay! Meanwhile, somewhere out at sea, James was pulled aboard another pirate ship. The end. Wow! <sighs> Mammy was scared there for a minute. Zarina... Join the pirate ship? Oh, my stars. I was scared. Whew. Okay, that was good. Did you like the story? If you did, take the remote and arrow down and hit that thumbs up and let Mammy know that you like the story. Okay, 
So that was the end. If you liked it, go down and give me a thumbs up, like I said, okay? Thank you. I like it when you like my stories. So this book was specially dedicated to my fairy princess, and I hope she liked it. Maybe she'll tell me. Anyway, this is the end. So who loves you? God loves you. That's right. Who else loves you? Mammy loves you. But Mammy loves you bestest. Until next time, my littles, be good and be kind.